What's up guys, welcome to another video and here we got a question from our friend Gorski5434 and he's deciding, he's not sure which major he should pick. He's considering architecture, civil, mechanical and industrial engineering. After looking at the job availability on his own on the career first that went to his school, he's mentioning that he's leaning more towards mechanical and industrial but he's also considering civil engineering. Now, thank you for the question. First of all, Gorski5434. The first thing that I'm gonna get right off the bat here, my friend, is that you're talking to a person that is clearly going to show bias. I'm a mechanical engineer, however, I am gonna try to be as objective as possible, although I'm sure I'll still be biased. We all have a bias. Anyway, so, you're saying that you're leaning more towards civil engineering. I'm sorry, you're leaning more towards mechanical and industrial, but you're also considering civil engineering. Now, I want to mention that you're not alone in this because I, I asking the question on whether to pick civil or mechanical engineering is actually a pretty common question, believe it or not. Now, when you throw industrial engineering into the mix, now that makes a little more things a little more interesting because personally, and this is just my personal opinion, I genuinely think that industrial engineering is a little bit underrated. The degree is pretty versatile. You can go into aerospace, you can go into auto automotive, you can go into the naval industry, you can go into so many industries. Anyway, so to answer your question here, I'm not really gonna talk about architecture because you're mentioning that you're leaning more towards mechanical and industrial anyways, but I do want to address civil a little bit. and. I'm actually gonna dive a little bit into the branches of each field. I'm not gonna go into the branches of industrial systems engineering, but I will talk a little bit about civil and mechanical. Because a lot of the times we, we, we oversimplify, we don't know what's behind a degree. We think of civil engineers and we directly relate it to, oh, designing bridges. We think about mechanical engineering and we automatically think, oh, designing cars and engines, transmissions. But I want to just go a little deeper into the layers and show you what kind of fields or sub or disciplines are within civil and mechanical so that you can perhaps get a little bit more insight to what each discipline has to offer. And the reason I wanna do this is because I want to sh maybe any of, maybe some of these industries actually catch your attention, maybe match some of the interests that you have, some of the fields that you know you like, and so that's gonna help you make the decision just a little easier. So I'm, I'm gonna keep things very simple. I know, that this, this is gonna, I know that this is a very, what would you say, uh, there, there's a lot of things to take into account, but you did mention that you're not really too worried about the job availability because you, you found a lot of companies in your job career fair, and, uh, and I like that confidence, by the way. I really do like the confidence, and personally, I think that all of these fields are good, civil, industrial, and mechanical, and they're all gonna be competitive, so don't get me wrong. You're gonna have to work hard to get that position. So let's dive a little bit, a little deeper into what civil first has to offer. Civil engineering has to offer architectural engineering, coasts, oceans, and ports and rivers, construction, engineering mechanics, environmental and water resources, geotechnical engineering, structural engineering, transportation and development, and also utility engineering and surveying. So what I suggest you do is you actually Google, do a little bit of research on civil engineering and the, and the disciplines that are within civil engineering, and you do a little bit more research on your own to see what kind of fields you like a little better than the others, and that's gonna kind of, that's going to attract and pique your interest and see which direction you wanna go. Now, that's civil engineering. Now, I also wanna take a look and mention very, very briefly the areas of mechanical engineering. And to me, honestly, I, like I said, I'm gonna be a little biased here, but I think they're just cooler, bottom line. Anyway, so with mechanical engineering, you have acoustics, you have aerospace, you have automation, automotive, autonomous systems, biotechnology, composites, computer-aided design. Well, with CAD, you also do that with uh, civil engineering. You also have control systems, cybersecurity, you get into that with a mechanical engineer, you can design energy, ergonomics, human health, manufacturing and additive manufacturing. 
you can do mechanics well engineering mechanics also like part of a um, civil engineering but also like nanotechnology production planning robotics structural analysis so as you can see the variety of fields that you could get into with, with a mechanical engineering degree it seems to be well no it seems to be from these two examples and these are just two sources by the way uh, it's a little broader for mechanical engineering now when it comes to industrial engineering they're, they're more like the integrators and they work with multiple engineering disciplines they can work with the mechanical guys with the electrical guys the approach the, syst the industrial systems engineers take to design is not going to be as detailed as a mechanical engineer or a civil engineer now I suggest you look into syst industrial systems engineering on its own but personally I think that it's also a very good field with a lot of potential and very very versatile so what's the bottom line the bottom line is gonna be that you need to do a little bit more research on your own and actually dig a little deeper into the disciplines of each of these fields you go into civil you go into mechanical you go into industrial and you actually see which fields attract you the most or which ones are the ones that you're the most interested in after that what I will personally do is see okay well if I like if I have a higher potential or perhaps I have more fields that I'm interested in in the mechanical side then obviously I will go with mechanical engineering now the one thing that I want to mention is like industrial is a little bit of a different beast it's very versatile but it's not gonna be as detailed as mechanical engineering or civil engineering when it comes to design processes so I generally think that either one of these three fields is <laughs> has a lot of potential they're all very good and keep in mind that regardless of which field you pick it's always gonna be competitive people are gonna be out there competing for jobs and so I like the confidence that you definitely have when you say you're not really worried about job availability so show me right there that you're determined to get a job and you're determined to do what it takes so kudos to you that's wonderful to hear and with that being said let me know what other questions you have in the comments below and maybe I do another follow-up to this video if, you, if there's any clarifications that need to be made I'll see you in the next one peace